Hey everyone, it's Ron again. This is going to be episode 117 of Ron's Update. It hadn't been too long since I've done two podcasts. I'd, I did 116 a week or so ago. I did uh, my... Lost Trail Runner podcast number 96, I think I published it yesterday, I'm not sure, where I went over what's been going on for the year, this year, since I hadn't published one of those in so long, but I thought I would catch you up on this past week, I didn't get in much running, it rained all this last week, pretty much, and so I ran with Laura on uh, Wednesday, sound right? Wednesday, I think. We ran on the trail, and I did a bunch of recording that I scrapped because it was too windy. I just couldn't handle that. And then Saturday, I went out for a three-mile run. It was sunny and warmer, so my three mile run turned into a six mile run. I I ran in the, started out in the neighborhood by my house and I ended up running down to Lilburn Park. Had a very good run. It was one of those days where you you feel like you could just keep going, you know. <laughs> so I doubled my distance. So I got six instead of three. And Sunday. I was supposed to do a six-mile run. I ended up doing seven, and that's when I did most of the recording for my episode 96 of my Lost Trail Runner podcast. And as I have mentioned in previous podcasts, I don't know if it's on Ron's Update or Lost Trail Runner, but I have been scheduling myself bike workouts on the days I don't run and I've I've got my bike trainer set up in my computer room where I can just put it in front of the screen and I can put Sufferfest videos on and I can just crank out the miles and be inside and warm on rainy days and warm on cold windy days and I successfully have skipped all those workouts (laughs) and then I did it once again I had uh, one scheduled for Monday, today's Tuesday, and I really had good intentions. I was going to hop on that thing and put on a video, and it just didn't happen. I ended up coming downstairs, eating supper, watching TV with my wife, and then... uh, I ended up going back upstairs and did some uh, editing of a video. I've got a GoPro camera that I got for Christmas, and I had been spinning around on, on, I mean, just totally screwed up as far as editing on that thing. It has a GoPro suite that you can use to produce your film, and for some reason, I just couldn't quite get going with that. Well, last night I finally sat down and I I put out a little seven-minute film with just music in the background, no no voice or anything, of a walk I did over uh, on the uh, Bird Sanctuary Trail at Stone Mountain. One day I went out there and I, I've got this uh, chest harness for the GoPro where you strap it over your shoulders and mount the camera right on your chest. And I wanted to see how, how good it worked. So I I went out to uh, the bird sanctuary because it's a fairly easy, smooth trail and just walked with my GoPro and did some video. And I I really did 
quite a lot of video, but I only I chopped it down to like seven minutes because I think about, I'm not sure how many minutes you can put on YouTube, but whatever it was originally, I, I had videoed something and I tried to put on YouTube and it was taken like forever and then I found out that it wouldn't even fit on there because it was too long. And I just got frustrated and I hadn't done anything since. But I finally, last night, was successful in doing one video. And hopefully that'll just be the first and I can produce some more videos and put them up on my YouTube channel. Uh... All of my podcasts get sent to YouTube also. Even though they're only audio, they still end up on YouTube because I do a version in Spreaker, and Spreaker sends a copy to YouTube. I think it sends one to Twitter. Or I think it sends one to Facebook, something like that. So if anybody ever wants to just listen to some podcasts, you can just go to the Lost Trail Runner channel on YouTube and and a lot of the podcasts are set in there. I don't know when I started doing that, but I think there are quite a few. And I, I went on YouTube the other day and looked at my channel and I don't think anybody's ever listened to a podcast on YouTube because <laughs> you don't really go there for audio, you know. Most people don't anyway. So that's pretty much what's happening. I, today I'm supposed to be running with Laura this afternoon. I got up this morning, did all my stuff I needed to do around the house. I went down to Lions Club Park, uh, which is at the other end of the Greenway Trail in Lilburn. And I ran three, a little over three miles. And now I'm supposed to meet Laura to run this afternoon. I'm supposed to meet her at Lilburn Park. But I just got a text message from her saying she was going to be late, so just go ahead and run without her. So I'm debating whether my three miles I already did is just good enough or should I go get another three in. No, it's not raining. It's supposed to be a rainy, you know, off and off rainy day, but it hadn't rained today. So I might just pack up all my junk and head out and get another little run in at Lilburn Park while I've got a chance. Because that way I'm ahead of the game instead of behind. So that's my Ron's update for today. I'll uh, send this out to you and see if we can do a couple more of these. Like I like to say, non-edited, non-scheduled, uh, whenever I feel like doing it, podcasts. Okay? See you later. Bye. Hey, it's Ron here. I wanted to let you know about my website. I have had it quite a while, but that is pretty much where all of my podcasts and running information is located. I have uh, about five pages associated with my web page. The home page, the front page, has a uh, YouTube player on it where I put on some of the short clips that I record with my GoPro now. Uh, I just tried it out a week this last week uh, at the Bird Sanctuary and did a little clip, put it on there. But you can subscribe to either one of my podcasts, The Lost Trail Runner or Ron's Update, on there. I also have a player for each podcast on that front page so you can listen to the episodes right on that page. But I also have some affiliate links on there. I have one for Fitbit, Amazon.com, Track Shack, 
not the track shack. <laughs> That's a running store in Orlando. The stick. Uh, R Road ID. Hammer Nutrition. I've got a link that goes to my Instagram. And I also have a link that goes to Spartan Race information. So if anybody's interested in running the Spartan Races, I've got a link on my website to get that information about those races. And you can register. Uh, that's on the front page. On the second page, that is actually my WordPress blog. So you can go on there and look at uh, my posts on my blog, which I have some of the same affiliate type links on there. You can you can subscribe to either podcast there. You can get Spartan Race information and Fitbit information on there. And if up at the top, you'll see it says home, about, and then it says Reebok Spartan Race. And if you click on the Spartan Race, it'll bring up uh, a video about that. And also there's a banner you can click on to get more information about Spartan Races. Then on my... Third page, if I ever get back to it, I'm looking at the website. That's why I'm him and hawing here. Third page is the uh, Lost Trail Runner podcast page. And I have a, uh, I think this is a Stitcher player. Yeah, it is a Stitcher player. Uh, you can play like the last, you got access to the last four podcasts there as well as you can subscribe. And there is also a comments form on the left-hand side where you can put in comments about uh, the podcast. And down at the very bottom, there's a link to donate, which I've had on for quite a while to try to generate some money for hosting for my podcast, which hadn't been too successful anyway. And then I have a Fitbit link you can click on uh, if you want to go check out a Fitbit. And the one, two, three, fourth page is, that's my, my watch is vibrating my, uh, of course, everything's going off here. I don't know what's ringing. I guess that's my... Oh, that's my computer. Yeah, my my Garmin's ringing. My my uh, Pebble was buzzing. My phone's ringing. My computer's ringing because <laughs> I got a message, a phone call. Anyway, uh, where was I at? The Lost Trail Runner podcast page is the third page. The fourth page is Ron's Update podcast page, which is very similar to the Lost Trail Runner page. It has a Stitcher player and a comment form. It's got, it looks like a Google ad on there and a donate button, all that sort of thing. And then the fifth page is my Amazon affiliate store where you can purchase various, I think I have three categories, running, podcasting, and recorders, and fitness wearables. And on the running, I've you know got things like gloves and jackets and socks and shoes. The shoes I got to go back and look at because I think some of those shoes are out of date and I need to put new models of shoes on there. And in the fitness wearables category, I have uh, things like the Vivo Fit from Garmin and Fitbit Surge and the Fitbit Charge and a Fitbit One. Fitbit One's what I have and I really like it. It clips on the my pocket and it just isn't ever in the way. 
and it's easy to use. The other ones that I wear on my wrist, I'm I'm not. I don't know. I just don't like them that much. <laughs> I like I like my Fitbit one. So anyway, that's what's on my website. The reason I bring it up is that is if anybody wants to know anything, that's the place to go to get information about my podcasts, about any of this other stuff I've got on here. And I've, I just got a GoPro this last Christmas, and I haven't used it very much, but I'm trying to get in the mode of using it and figuring out how to use it and how to edit GoPro and put out little short videos. And I want to try to start doing that. Anyway, check it out if you get a chance, and I'll talk to you later. Hey, thanks for listening to today's podcast. We'll be here next time. Keep the emails coming in, and be sure to subscribe.